Our next story may give hope to some. It might be a small win for the women of Saudi Arabia. Female students will no longer be allowed to wear abayas in exam halls. Abaya is a loose all covering robe which Saudi women wear in public. Saudi Arabian women were forced to wear the abaya in the public for decades. The dress code was strictly enforced by the police, but women finally decided to speak up. Campaigners urged the Crown Prince, Mohammed bin Salman or MBS, to loosen the conservative dress code, and their effort was successful. The enforcement was lifted in 2018, and the Crown Prince said women should wear decent and respectful clothing. Whether they wear the hijab or the abaya is a personal choice. It seemed like a huge victory, but just in theory, despite the Crown Prince's push for social reform, nothing really changed in practice. Saudi women continue to suffer at the hands of the dress code police, but they rebelled. Saudi women started a trend on social media. They posted pictures wearing their robes inside out. Many joined the movement. They switched to colorful robes in stark contrast to the traditional black. Women wearing open abayas over long skirts or jeans became increasingly common. And years on, Twitter wars continue about reinforcing the abaya and at the helm are those who have never worn one. Ever since Mohammed bin Salman has come to power, he has tried to push for women rights. MBS has a long-term development strategy called Vision 2030 and under this plan, he aims to reduce gender discrimination before lifting abaya compulsions in 2018. Remember, he ruled that women should be allowed to attend sporting events and drive cars. Now, this was a monumental change for a lot of women. Prior to this, many had to let go of their careers due to difficulties related to commute. Many couldn't afford daily taxis of private drivers. But being allowed to drive changed all of this. It gave them the freedom to work and run errands at their convenience. In 2019, Saudi Arabia announced the Women in the Workplace initiative. It mandated equal pay for equal work. The policy strives to make work the environment more hospital and safe for women. Women are also allowed to apply for passports and travel abroad now. Now, you may be watching me from other parts of the world where all this is the norm. These are basic rights, but believe me, it has made a huge difference to the lives of women in Saudi. You see, there seems to be a slow liberalization taking place in Saudi. Recently, Saudi Arabia called on the Taliban's decision on women's education. It has asked the Taliban to reverse the ban on women's higher education. The kingdom is surprised by the Taliban's ruling. It says the ban violates Afghan women's legal rights. Mohammed bin Salman is vouching for women's rights and he has received due praise for that. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. There is still a list of things that women cannot do in Saudi Arabia. And this list is longer than the Crown Prince's reform. They cannot get married or abort a baby without a male guardian. They also cannot leave prison or a domestic abuse shelter. And Saudi Arabia's stance on freedom of opinion still remains rigid. Several women's rights activists have been in prison in recent years. Some face restricted freedoms even after release. So the road ahead remains long. The kingdom has now banned abayas in an exam hall. This sure indicates a shift in the conservative norms. But can it truly be called liberal? Pay attention to the term here. The robes have been banned, not made optional. That already happened about four years ago. Banned. An imposition, however liberal on the face, is still an imposition. The ban might empower girls to not wear a robe. Maybe it will give them an excuse to stand up to forceful guardians. But what if it backfires? What if girls who are forced to wear abayas by their guardians stop coming to examination halls altogether? Isn't the risk a little too high? Saudi Arabia is at least trying to move away from conservatism. You already know what's happening in Iran. An oppressive regime has stifled dissent. It has made a mockery of human rights. The country is smoldering with protests. Executions are being handed out, all because women are demanding to make their personal choices. So whether it's bans or enforcements, anything that is imposed is bound to suppress rights. And what we believe is the freedom to make personal choices is what matters truly. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.